Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Yuri. Uh, I'm creator of uh, Kubernetes Global Balancer project that I want to talk about today. And uh, what is uh, uh, KGB? Uh, it is an uh, open source project that is uh, targeted to solve an uh, interesting challenge of global traffic management. Uh, so it basically uh, makes your applications uh, globally available and resilient in a situation when you're dealing with a multi-cluster uh, scenario when your Kubernetes clusters are deployed in a geographically dispersed manner. So it can be multiple data centers, multiple regions, so highly distributed uh, environment. Uh, the main uh, differentiators of the project, of the KGP project, is that it's Kubernetes native. So it uh, exposes a GSLB CRD to control quite challenging uh, global traffic management uh, configuration. Uh, there is no single point of failure because there is no uh, need for management cluster. So you, you, you deploy KGB next to your workloads uh, we are using uh, DNS protocols that is battle tested, it's running the uh, internet and a, a whole setup is distributed by design. We're supporting multiple load balancing, load balancing strategies like failover, round robin and geo proximity. Uh, yeah, the whole solution is designed to uh, solve uh, high impact regional failures and uh, why it is GSLB, Global Service Load Balancing Solution, it also has a unique property of uh, figuring out what is actually happening on your cluster down to the pod status, pod scale check uh, granularity. So, roughly how it works, uh, we have uh, a canonical example of KGB setup. We have uh, two clusters deployed in uh, two different regions, region A, region B, and it, it can be different data centers, it can be uh, different uh, cloud regions like uh, AWS US, AWS Europe, or any cloud provider, and even hybrid mode, whatever environment you need to target. Uh, KGB is getting installed next to the workload, so, so to, to your workload clusters, and I guess there is a main orchestration KGB controller. It also uh, uh, ships within itself two important components. It's external DNS and core DNS, that is dedicated core DNS deployment, not related to the uh, standard Kubernetes one. What external DNS integration is doing, it automatically configures the zone delegation in your environment DNS provider. So it can be Route 53, Azure Public DNS, and uh, some on prep solutions, Cloudflare, anything. After the zone delegation is configured, uh, the DNS uh, uh, request from the client is going to be automatically forwarded to the core DNS instances that are controlled by a KGB. And the core DNS instances are going to respond with dynamically crafted uh, DNS responses according to, to uh, GSLB strategy and your application health status. And last but not least, KGB is also uh, continuously monitoring your uh, associated uh, application status through the ingress and service and point array transitively. So this way, uh, KGB can steer uh, the traffic in a global manner to the healthy application. So in standard, uh, the most straightforward scenario, uh, you would have a failover strategy uh, in a, uh, and you will pin geographical uh, tag to region cluster in region A, and assuming application is failing there, the KGB will steer the traffic to the healthy cluster. Whenever uh, uh, the application is getting recovered on the original cluster, is it, it will steer it back. Uh, so, and uh, clusters are thinking and cross-pulling each other, so they are always aware of the status on the neighbor cluster of the status of the associated uh, application. So basically, you can do very interesting uh, global traffic steering, failovers one scenario, you can uh, do a round robin, and also more complex uh, uh, geographical proximity stuff. So this is quite a amount of moving uh, parts, controllers, uh, etc. And luckily, uh, all this complexity is abstracted away with a single GSLB CRD. Uh, as you can see the example, we have an uh, embedded ingress spec there, so it's really ingre embedded ingress uh, type, and highlighted on the slides is a strategy stanza. That's exactly the parameters that are controlling global uh, load balancing strategy. If you have a bunch of ingresses flying around in your Helm charts, uh, you can use an annotation instead, and basically it will ease uh, KGB GSLB adoption. You can e enable the global load balancing for your application just to, uh, by, by setting an annotation on a standard ingress, and uh, KGB will pick it up and create a CRD for you, a CR for you, the GSLB one. So, 
Uh, as I mentioned, uh, it can be, uh, uh, KGB can operate in virtually any environment, on-prem, cloud, hybrid scenario. It's enough to have a KGB, uh, it's enough to have a Kubernetes conformant cl uh, Kubernetes cluster uh, and uh, some form of DNS server, uh, where you can uh, basically configure the zone delegation. Uh, and uh, for a set of providers, uh, we, uh, we have this uh, fully automated zone delegation uh, scenario, and uh, here is the list where we have a, like a, a nicely tested uh, set of environment where you can just plug it in and it will work out of the box. Otherwise, uh, it will work with any uh, DNS scenario and the new uh, providers are easy to add uh, because we are building not from scratch, but we, we are reusing external DNS community and the set of providers. So current project status, CNCF sandbox, I plan to apply for incubating uh, level this year. Let's see how it goes. We have uh, three uh, companies who are public adopters running KGB in production. Uh, we at the project, we are two times finalists of uh, very nice uh, event CNCF security slam uh, that enabled us to uh, heavily enhance the security posture of the project high related to that point. We have a uh, highest CLO monitor score on all the, all the metrics. We have a diverse set of maintainers, uh, APSA where it was originally created, Upbound and Kedify. And we have uh, also a very nice set of contributors, including Millennium BCP, who are also both adopters and contributors. And recently, folks from Tetrade joined and sent some PRs and participated in the discussion. So thank you so much. Uh, to learn more, uh, please visit website, uh, try KGB locally, uh, and in your, in your environment, join Slack, stars in GitHub, add yourself to adopters if you're using it. And last but not least, please join our first ever KGB Country Fest, Country Fest this Friday at 11 in the morning. Thank you so much.